Hey folks, Wakerow here, just playing a little FTL, Faster Than Light. It is the Steam Winter Sale, so I thought I'd go ahead and take advantage of it. So I picked up this little game, and so I'm going to uh, try it out for the first time today. So I'm quite excited, I hear a lot of great things about it, so let's jump right into it, shall we? Okay, the Kestrel. A uh, bunch of people, I guess this is my crew. I did do the tutorials, so I do know somewhat what I'm doing. Um, yeah, we'll go normal. Alright, the data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You need supplies for your journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing the rebel fleet catches up. Tips, sensors, if the ship goes dark, don't panic, just fix sensor subsystem. Alright. So, this is my crew. They're not really doing much. So we'll go ahead and move this guy over here, and we're going to move this guy to the weapons bay. So, in case anything happens, I'll go ahead and have the strategic advantage of already getting it fixed. Alright, so, let's see what I can do. I should probably go here first before the Federation fleet actually catches up with me, or the Rebel fleet. You detected automatic, or automated Rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. Interfering and defend the outpost. Detecting a higher threat, the automated ship moves in to engage your ship. Alright, let's screw this dude up. So, we gotta go ahead and activate these two. Go ahead and uh, destroy the weapon system. I seem to uh, figure out that that seems to be the biggest weakness for uh, any ship, is when you destroy the weapons first. Yeah, all right, the engines are down, so let's go ahead and just hit them with the bust or burst rifle or laser. Excuse me, burst laser, and drop them. So in this run through, I'm just going to go ahead and do one entire uh, sector, and then we're just going to go ahead and uh, quit there. So I don't know if you guys would like to see more of this. I actually enjoy this game quite much. Uh, the tutorial is a lot of fun to play. All right, but anyways, um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and complete more. Uh, uh, this one sector, if you'd like to see me do some more sectors, then well, just let me know in the comments below. You recognize the ship as well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you the labors for cheap. I'll go ahead and uh, attack the slaver scum. I need to pause so I can actually strategize what I need to do. Appears we have a intruder, so we're going to go ahead and... Uh, actually, you know what, let's see where he goes first. Okay, he's going to the engine room. All right. You need to go in there. Artemis, you need to take out the weapon and the burst rifle. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the... No, you know what? I'm going to take the shields down. That's more important. Alright, we're under attack here. Oh, we just got hit hard. This isn't good. Our shields are down. And it sucks too, because this guy here is like distracting us. So it's like we can't really effectively fight. Okay, let's drop these two guys. You go to med bay. You still have a little health, so I need you to fight the fire. And let's see, the Artemis is now top, so let's go ahead and destroy that. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll die, all die anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and accept his offer because I'm not a cold, heartless bastard. And where is the slave? We're supposed to have a slave here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Come help me take out this fire. Get busy. Alright, we need to drop these guys off at the med bay. They're not doing too hot. Go ahead and stop the fire. I like this guy, this uh, Wai Xing. Wai Xing. Because he actually uh, takes out stuff quickly. Warning, shield's critical. Alright, well, we're taking care of that now. I need you there. I need you into the engine room. And, uh, alright. Go ahead and get healed up. You, sir. Yeah, you can stay there. Actually, you're going to go to Weapons Bay. You're more of a Weapons Bay kind of guy. Alright, moving on. One thing I like about this game is the fact that it's so simple yet complex at the same time. It looks very simple. It's very easy. I mean, come on. This, is, this layout is very simple. It's very easy to understand, but it, later on, like... From what I hear, it gets very complex when, you know, you have to figure out what parts to destroy, how to do it, how to manage an entire ship while trying to, you know, keep 
it from getting hit by sunspots or you know things like that so I don't know I hope uh, I, I hope to uh, play this game more because um, I'm actually liking it they power up their FTL if they get away they'll no doubt warn the fleet of your position so what does that mean it means we need to hit their drive first and we have an intruder inbound so you go ahead and stop them you go ahead and join them alright hit it hit it ah, alright systems down Artemis go ahead and uh, hit there actually go ahead that's a hit. Go ahead and go ahead to med bay. Whoever's in med bay, go to shielding, and then you look to be good. So go to okay. Oh, he got away! Christ! Scout jumps away and is sure to inform the fleet of your position. You must get to the next sector as soon as possible. Son of a bitch! All right. Oh God, and it's way down there too. So let's see here. What would be the best course of action? Do I just go straight into this? Yeah, we'll go here. One thing I noticed that uh, a lot of people have been having issues with in other Let's Plays is that the map itself isn't quite clear where to go, which line to take. Because at times it can actually just be a dead end, and so it may look like you're heading towards the exit, but in the end you might not be. So. Go ahead and uh, we need to power up these shields. All right, shields powered up. Go ahead and hit the shields and the weapons. All right, he's launching a missile. Oh no. Okay, our O2's down. Robot, go fix that. Okay, looks like we've been hit with some sort of EMP, so our shields are down. Okay, our shield is back up. All right, go ahead and hit the shield. Them. Okay, um, you need to go into weapons. I need you into thing. I don't feel like wasting much uh, of my missiles. Only have two left, so. All right, nice. Got a missile from it too. Let's go ahead and go to ship, and let's see if I have any uh, equipment. Nope. So we're just gonna go ahead and. I guess what would be the best thing to upgrade shields and we're gonna add a power couple all right uh, Christ this could be a problem hopefully I can survive because I know the fleet reject their offer of course so we're gonna go ahead and knock out their weapons that's always the most important thing so make sure these a-holes don't have any kind of weapons to utilize against me and my crew. Alright, there we go. So now we've got full power on everything that's actually necessary. Okay, our hull just took two damage. Oh, no, no you don't. Hopefully I have enough time to uh, hit this guy. Bam! Yep. Uh, he ain't going nowhere. Yep. That's a wrap for you. Alright. Ship explodes, leaving behind substantial collection of useful scrap material. One fuel, two missiles, and 14 scrap. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump over here. Hopefully this is not a dead end. Uh, you arrive to you arrive to a damaged and depleted space station. It appears to be abandoned, and but you detect faint life signatures on board. Board the station, look for survivors, scrap some of the debris, so I can get either a new crew member or get some scrap. I think I need a crew member. All around you is a stench of death and decay. Suddenly, one of the crew members bends over and starts. Was it retching violently? Some sort of disease must have wiped out the station. You pull back the ship, but it looks like your crew members your crew member is not going to make it. So I lost a crew member. Oh, and I lost a slave. Dang it. Well, that's a shame. It's a damn shame. You will be remembered, sir. Go with God. Go ahead and update it. Power coupling here. All right, let's get out of here before... Uh, I'm not going to take any chances. I could explore, but uh, why not? You arrive at the long-range beacon. 
When the FTL drive charge, you can jump to the next sector. As soon as you arrive, a small mantis ship detects from or detaches from a wreck and jumps away. You must have interrupted their salvage operation because you find weapons ready to be installed. And I got myself eight scrap and an ion blast. So, all in all, it's been a good run. All right, folks, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, please leave a comment and a like. It really helps me out. Uh, if you'd like to see more FTL, please let me know, and I will definitely do it. So, I am Waycrow, and I'm signing off.